So when we have that energy on the, on the planet, you know, even if somebody is not involved with the DS, there there's still like loopholes and corruption in ways, you know, like all these systems that have been put in place to cover the bad people have also left holes for the people who choose to do bad things. So, you know, there's been a lot of shit a lot of people have gotten away with and a lot of people have done things, questionable things. And, you know, on a soul level, then it makes sense to me because, yeah, that's a lot of information for a soul to take in and learn from. But, you know, the for me, I mean, I can't say like I am, uh, you know, I went when I was a kid and I, or I was 19 and I was walking with those two guys and when they all of a sudden broke into that mansion and I wasn't really sure what was going on at first. You know, I don't remember knowing anything about what was going on. It was just suddenly in this really magnificent place in London. It was really cool. And they were running around doing stuff and I was just like standing in this living room and I was looking at this thing. And I know they were yelling at me and I can't remember what they were yelling. But see like, I mean, I didn't run out of the house and call the police or something. It was like very, it was a very weird experience in my life. And you know, it was like a significant thing. And it does when you have things that question your own integrity, you know, when, you know, integrity is not something that you can just have. Sometimes it has to be how you choose to live. And, you know, probably that uh, was a part of me learning about that. But there's a lot of stuff, you know, that other people still have to, you know, they still have to go and learn that on another level because you know that's why they're here to learn that stuff so some of the people that are going through different things they're going through them all for their their soul growth their spiritual knowing and um you know you do got to take total advantage of the experience and learn everything you can when you're here and um because these experiences although the it can seem like treacherous at times uh, and long and, you know, hard, especially like right now where people are so misled and just so hopeless and helpless. And what does it all mean? And why are we here? And all of that stuff, you know, to me, reincarnation and our true history and, you know, seeing the controllers, like all of this stuff makes sense to me. I don't ever question like why I'm here. I, I completely understand why I'm here. I completely understand what life is all about. I, um, I, I don't question it. And then the other day when I was talking to my grandson and I said, um, something like that. And he's like, you don't question, question it at all. And I'm like, no, if you have it in your inner knowing, you just know. And, um, it's, it's kind of weird because like you can have your inner knowing and it can feel like completely real, but I'm still waiting to watch and see how stuff plays out and see like, well, is my inner knowing right? <laughs> it's been right uh, so many other times. It's never, you know, fooled me before, but you know, we'll, we'll see how stuff plays out. I think that, you know, that it's going to continue People are going to continue having stuff exposed. Uh, they, it's it's real crazy, but it's got to be part of what they need to see right now is that the person who they turned against that was orange um, because they were told he was doing certain things. Keep in mind, they were told he was doing certain things. They don't know that he was doing these things. They didn't witness him doing these things or anything they had an organization tell them he was doing these things and they believed it and it made him really mad and it made him go against him which was real convenient for the ds and so what's crazy is now they aren't seeing the 
all the things they were outraged about this, you know, Joe's doing it. He really is. And where's the outrage? Well, you know, it is like they're all just doing a grocery list or something like you guys. Where's the outrage? You know, come on, pay attention. But they all went back to sleep. It was once they, you know, they got woke to this one thing. But they all, you know, the ones I know, which <laughs> this is, let me just put this into perspective. I don't know if I've told you this before, but I was talking to my mom. And um, so the late night comics have all gone way down because they're very, they are, um, they're mouthpieces for the DS. You know, they say what they're, they get, you know, script handed to them. You better get this in. You better say this. You better do that. You know, and they are willing to do it for a paycheck. You know, that's, that's what I talk about with integrity. Um, so they're willing to sell them their own souls for a paycheck. Which, you know, I mean, I'm not going to shame somebody, you know, for that. You know, that's their soul's journey. That's their, their soul's, this is their stuff that they get to, you know, recognize their karmic attachments you know it's all that is them so you know i'm not gonna get all bent out of shape about their bullshit but the thing is that is um funny is how much it's gone down and i guess kimmel only has like nine hundred and seventy five thousand viewers he's probably even gone down more but he only has that many and i, I guess they figured out per night i don't know how they do all these numbers <laughs> but i was telling my mom you know you just gotta remember mom that he has that many and five of those people are in our family. So, yeah, I, I'm, I've got a heavy family on the liberal side, you know. And it's a very science. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, science. Science shows and stuff like that. And, you know, liberal, liberal and progressive and stuff. They're all, they're all real caught up in the, um, like, they think all that stuff <clears throat> is really making the world better. They don't know that it is the system that is trying to keep them enslaved that is doing it like they they think that anyone who's saying that is just crazy so yeah I, I tried to tell them I got caught crazy and you know stay in your lane crazy girl so now with all of this stuff coming out I just you know something something big is gonna happen Something is going to happen. It's going to have to make them all, you know, look up from the grocery list and pay attention. <clears throat> and hopefully, you know, it's supposed to be something big is going to happen in July. So we're in July. And I'm just hoping yesterday I noticed, um, and I, you know what I don't get either is why are explosives uh, allowed one day a year? And which, you know, all these people, they don't just use them one day a year. I lived across the street from a guy in the city limits who every single weekend for six months, we call the police constantly every single weekend for six months, he did fireworks. So they go and stock up, you know, and you know, if he, how many explosives would it be in his house? Say he had a house fire. We're all in the neighborhood. How many explosives would be in his house that would make that house explode? How big of an explosion would cause the next house to explode and the next house to explode? You know, it's like, it's just weird to me. Especially they're trying to, you know, come at us about the guns, which I am 100% believe it has to do with, well, I guess now that I've heard that, you know, China's not heading over until they get them. So they are scared of, of fighting us in the streets, but they also don't want us to be able to feed ourselves. They don't want us to be able to grow food. They don't want us to be able to hunt food. They don't want us to be able to take care of ourselves in the least. They don't want us to own anything. They want us to just surrender. You know, whatever they want, we'll do so we can survive. And, um, you know, it's great that people are waking up but it is a slow process, man. So slow. Um, but, I mean, 
when you think about it, like David Icke has been speaking out about this stuff 40 years. I was like, man, I'm bitching about it. It's been only a couple. Because <laughs> um, when I started after, um, when I started getting healthier, that's when I started with the waking up. And so, I don't know, six years or something. I gave up a long time ago. But in the past six years, it's been like, oh my God, come on. When is this going to happen? Come on, event. So, yeah, something's got to happen to wake people up. Everybody gets a fair chance, you know. So, well, I don't know. I can't say that. Not every soul comes into this world with a fair chance of what we would consider a fair chance, but they all come in, uh, you know, no soul is forced to take on a life that they don't want. You, you pick your life, you choose your battles, you, it's all you. If you, uh, if you hate your life and you're, you know, you don't understand it, well, you chose it because there's things that you can be learning from it. And uh, those are the things that your soul wanted to learn, wanted to experience and everything has experience. Being rich, being poor, being the good guy, being the bad guy. All of it has things that we can learn from. And that's what we're here for, is to learn. Is for our consciousness to become more and more. And our energy to... Most of us want it to be good energy. There is bad energy. Uh, you know, we are dealing with that. And that's another thing, too, when we have... We're dealing with, the, you know, this galactic... A situation that's going on the um you know and, and people get the same thing with the aliens and god and stuff like it's all this this everything is so three-dimensional movie stuff and um but you know there's good souls and there's bad souls but we gotta have both souls because we're teaching each other we're balancing with each other and in life the souls, you know, I mean, especially in the past age here, they really got to, you know, have the run of things. But it did teach a lot of stuff. So it wasn't all for bad. Like, we just we get so stuck on good, the good and bad. And, um, but the um, aliens, they are just like us, you know, because we are them and they are us and our souls go and do all the things. So there is whole groups of aliens that are more negative or bad or whatever you want to call, um, that do want to rule the world, rule, rule this planet and, uh, rule all of the people and, uh, control it. And, um, you know, that's out there and they're out there still, even when this planet's done, there'll be other ones. And, um, they, you know, we think of them as just being like all bad and all these bad things that are being exposed to us. And we're seeing all of these horrible things and it's so tragic. Um, but on a soul level it has been a very productive age you know a lot of souls learned a lot of stuff a lot of um look at all the war look at all of the um i mean all the murder and killing and uh there's just been a lot a lot of stuff that has gone on and um you know that's all for a soul to learn so i, I just think don't waste your energy just being um too much on the good and bad. I mean, we got to have both. They've got to, you can't learn anything if all you have is good. You have to have both to facilitate um, experience and learning and um, educating ourselves as souls and experience. And so, anyways, now Stella's on the move. So, uh, maybe I'm running out of things to talk about. So I will talk to you later. Bye.